Hello and welcome to a new video. Today I am playing for you a one table session at NL100 Zoom on uh, PokerStars. Ready to go and good luck to us. King it off. It is usually a fault, but it definitely depends on who opens. Button or small blind. Could have been a call. We fold the six deuce off. Eight queen off. Ferrari defaults could be a raise. You don't see the HUD, but I do see it. Just the Streamlabs, the software I'm using to, to record the screen, uh, only catches the window of PokerStars and not what is above it, so that's why you cannot see uh, my HUD, but if there is a relevant information, of course I will tell. Close one, cutoff opens 2.5x, small blind calls, I am going to call this one on the big blind. Interesting flop, we may check raise, definitely, it's an option. Let's see the action. Okay, I don't mind placing a raise here. This is one of the turns that we are going to uh, bluff overall. Turn plus river. I uh, made it a bit too big, probably. Well, that's a nice, that's that's a nice save <laughs> on this river. Of course, I'm going to shove. I would have bluffed also a non-spade river anyway, because I mean, with these blockers at this point, I think uh, we should have done that. Gonna fold jack four off. Pocket sixes. I am going to isolate versus the limper, probably a recreational player. We got a three bit from an unknown. Uh, if the recreational calls, I may call. If not, with no info, I might just fold. Well, that's gonna be quick. <laughs> Can check off, I open it 50% of the times, depending on the table. Also, and in this case, I'm just going to fold there. 10 5 off, it is going to be a fold. Ace 3 off, as well, a fold. 3 7 off. Nothing much to say, but Ace Queen suited. It is going to be a hand we want to play, and we are going to open. Regular on the big blind, we may call, we may 4-bet in poor, mm, sometimes, I like them both. Terrible flop, we are going to just check fold usually. We have of course way better hands to continue than ace queen, spade spade on this taxer, so... Easy fold when villain bets, he also makes it pretty big. For some enough. Nothing we can play. 5-7 off suit. I am going to play it if the small blind opens. If not, just going to be a fold. Okay. We open this, we make it also 3x, given the big blind who is a uh, recreational. With this hand, we can typically also call a 3 bet, but let's see. If the small, bl <laughs> small blind squeezes, it's close. We have a player behind us who just called called, so. We'll be close. Okay, we are running hot, I would say, today. And I'm not going to check versus a bad player, I'm just going to bet big. This flop I would check a lot versus a regular, but if we know, if we think he's a bad player, I prefer to, to just play it very straightforward. And we are going to bet also the river with a big size. 
Nice. He had a summon. Unlucky from on his side. Lucky on ours. Nandu suited, we are going to fold. Tanjakov, let's see. Okay, he probably folds, this is a close one. We may choose to call it. But I am going to check fold this flop. Folding an M4 suited from the bottom. And A is fast suited. It is going to be an open. Villain opens before me, but he has so far fall to tribut 80%, so I am going to tribute him. Insta folding, of course, in case he forbids, since I mean, if we if we act on the read that he's folding 80% pre flop to tribut when he forbids, we need to be real neat. So it's not like I'm going to fiber show or things like this, if I have that read, of course. Which, of course, can change during time. Maybe by playing with him, he realizes that, he starts fighting back more, his stat gets uh, more in line with what should be, and then we can go on our standards again. Fold this, king 3, off suite. it is going to be a fold as well from the button, versus two regulars on the big on the blinds. King it off as well. <coughs> Winter suited. Let's see, it's a hand we can trip at a pretty decent high frequency. Given the big blind is a recreational on the tight side, I would say we can also call call, especially if early position opens. But I would trip it if the button opens, yeah. Insta call this flop just I'm just going to check fold. Checks back. I don't think he's gonna fold often enough on the turn. I'm just gonna check. Maybe bluff some river. Uh, not going to bluff anyway. I'm not going to bluff anyway. Okay. Queen six suited. Two point three X oh, bottom call in my ranges. <coughs> okay, having the queen blocker, I don't mind sometimes check raise on the flop. Very small portion of my range I play this way. So just gonna check now. And if he checks back on the turn, I might choose to place a big bluff on the river. Uh, not on the jack, to be honest. It's kind of close. Actually. Yeah, kind of close. I think overbetting is an option. Time fast suited, we are going to open if already default. Yes we do. The orbit was with the queen six on the river was probably a bit exploitative, but I feel like when we check that turn and orbit that river, it really looks like it really feels like we had a set which slowed down on the turn and then bombed it on the river when we had a full house. So I don't mind. I'm okay with the line. Again, probably not not what Pyroshover would tell us to do, <laughs> but I think it works pretty much in the field. <coughs> A6 suited, we may want to open it. Uh, 
I am, I mean, versus a bad player, I don't mind betting, it's also it's a bit of protection, a bit of team value. It is high. Okay, we take a fold. Not a bad outcome, not, not a bad outcome. Queen unsuited. We may trip it if cutoff or button opens, they don't, so we just open. Oh my god, today are, we are flopping flashes, like, <laughs> it's insane. Just going to be big versus a recreational player. Seems like today's sweet of hands are the hands to go with today. Seven years off, we just fold. Ten years off as well. Big blind so far is not playing very loose, actually it's pretty tight, so I'm gonna open this if I already fold. No. <clears throat> Button opens, we we do fold then. Jack now suited, it is going to be an open raise. King 6 off, it is going to be a defense if small blind opens, I would fold on the button. Folds a lot of tributes is the guy who folded 80%, but I still think King 6 off is a bit too... It's way to lose. I am going to open this if I already fold, but they do not. 5-3 off. Easy fold of course, as Jack 5 off suite. 60 suited, uh, it's usually a fold. We have a small blind who is uh, pretty much of a knit, so we can widen up a bit our opening ranges, even if the big blind uh, looks like a decent regular. Well, just fold now. Jack 8 off. We can defend if small blind opens, but I'm not going to defend it versus the cutoff. King 10 off, well. Let's open this from the cutoff. Okay. Ace 10 suited. Definitely a hand we want to open from the cutoff. Usually not calling a trivet unless it's pretty small. A6 off. I'm going to open in case error default. So far looks like an it so far. Queen 8 off sweet. Uh, again, it's a hand which I usually fold from the cutoff. But the small blind is a knit, so we can widen up our ranges, even if the big blind looks like an okay regular. At the moment, you know, the small blind is not going to tribute you like 15% or plus. You know, it's very... It's very okay <laughs> to to open wider from the button when the small blind is non tributing I got to fold this one, unluckily. Pocket queens. Let's open them. UTG. If one of the blinds tribut me, I'm just going to call, call the tribut. I'm not going to forbid in this dynamic, typically. Small blind tributes, and he looks like a regular, and he tributes quite a bit, so just going to call in position. I expect a lot of checks on his side, and queens, I think, is a hand which we can mix, pretty much. Sometimes check, sometimes pet, versus a regular. I don't mind checking this time. And I am going to call, of course, on the turn, and on most rivers, if he bets. Once he checks, time for us to bet. And I'm going to bet also on this <coughs> specific river. He may also call sometimes with Ace High. Wouldn't shock me. Let's see what he had. He had Ace High. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. That he has he had Ace King with flat, with two spades, which was a reasonable check on the flop, a reasonable check on the turn. 
And on the river. I would say it's close. Let's open with pocket sevens and let's see if the big blind gives us action. No, I made it 3x preflop because the big blind was uh, recreational or at least marked as a recreational. Please guys don't get angry if you see yourself labeled as a recreational or as a weak regular. I mean, first of all, there is nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Second of all, uh, sometimes my labels are wrong and it's usually better for you if I labeled you with the wrong label because I'm going to do mistakes versus you. So be happy with that. <laughs> King six off, I am going to open. Given the big blind, he is, looks like educational. But no, nope. cutoff opens. For seven off. Not much to say with that. Queen Jack off. I'm gonna fold versus UTG open. 3 9 suited, we also fold. 5 6 off, we do fold. 10 8 suited on the big blind. Interesting hand, let's see. We will be able to play this in a very. I mean, many scenarios, well, not when they all fold. <laughs> this. Ace 2 suited. I'm gonna open if I've already fold. 4-bet or call in case of 3-bet. I like both lines to be honest. I don't have a strong preference on any of the two, but we get the blind, which which is cool. Okay, let's take a flop. Flop a gas shot. Uh, I will just check and then reevaluate. We have we, we also have some reverse in play dot in the ten. Uh, of course, I don't think. I mean, the small blind regular shouldn't have king queen almost ever. The bottom sometimes may limp it since he's a bad player. But let's see. We may stick around on the flop. I wouldn't be. That worried of how a reverse and on the 10. I mean, it's well, when he overbets on the flop, I guess we can just fold. Oh, but I'm proud called. That's pretty strong line. Queen, King Tews off. It's definitely a fold. 7 and off. I would usually fold this hand, but given the big blind is on it, I don't mind opening it. I think you should have uh, very dynamic opening ranges and change them a lot depending on who is in position on you and who is on the blind. I think this this can make a huge difference between an open or a fold. So uh, this hand, I wouldn't mind 3-betting this as a standard, but so far this player played 18-12, so looks a bit on the tight side, and so I would just call and play some poker post-flop. This flop, two overcards and a gas shot for the nuts, I don't mind check calling, but once he checks back, I think on average the field is a bit unbalanced to our being weak when they check back here, so I like to do a lot of two big bets kind of lines. Same here. I think especially versus when we are versus somebody who you know he's not a regular, so somebody who might be ABC player or a recreational, when you see a check back on a board like that, you can make an assumption, a pretty safe assumption that your opponent is probably uh, on the weaker side of his range, so I think it's very profitable to, to fire Talon River Big in general. Let's put this flop. A lot of equity, good blockers. Villain raises, we can raise again, we can call. Uh, I don't have a strong preference versus an unknown. Of course, if you raise, we are not going to, to fall to shove. Cool. 
calling was perfectly fine as well. I, I really don't mind. King Jack off. We open from the middle position, but Willem folds. So nothing to do there. Six three suited. I again one of the spots in which we're, where we have a small blind who is very passive preflop. So we could have opened when we realize our equity hit that much, that frequently. I mean, when we are less worried to receive a three bet. Seven eight. Daughter up swing. A regular opens from the button, and and I'm going to call. Uh, so so flop can maybe call a very small bet, but uh, yeah, this is a very small bet, one fourth pot basically. Let's call it check for the turn anyway. I'm not going to to call again. Check back. No need for us to bet. We can check and eventually bluff catch. We don't block any main m any big throw. Can consider it. Yeah, the ten. So. Not much to do there. Three seven off we fold, six eight off we fold. I like to isolate versus the limper with a 7 off on the button. We are of course folding in case of 3 bet, but I think it's still profitable to widen up our raising range when there is a limper and we are in position. Jack gives off. It is going to be a fold unless like small blind opens to X. I think this is the only situation in which I might call that. King 7 off. Everybody folds. is going to be an open, if not just a fold. Just a fold it is. King 3 suited, oh, I mean, we like to open with the big blind, but he's so short, so I'm going to make it 2.2x, even if my standard would be 3x versus a bad player. Just when they're so short, of course, it's better to open smaller, si since we have to fall to shove, we, we spare some money when this shove is kind of likely. Not not an open in my standard ranges, but button is on it. Small blind is a regressional player. This is a situation in which I really like to open very wide because the button is just going to fold a lot and the small blind is not going to trigger a lot. I'm gonna take a step versus the bad player here. It's usually going to be a one straight thing, just betting here and giving up if he continues anyway. Okay. We're done. So we, we, we might be tempted to bet again here on the turn, but I think, I mean, in his check calling range, he has many medium, kind of medium hearts, kind of end. Uh, we can we can say that, I mean, probably he's not calling with many ace x off to have the ace of hearts, but at the same time, I mean, he's a bad player. Who the hell knows? Maybe he's called calling with ace four off suite. Who knows? So we're just going to play it very straightforward and stick with the plan. The plan was to bet on the flop and that's it. Then let's just let's just leave it. This is offset not a hand I love, so but I definitely love a, a walk when I have that. Pocket queens again. Let's see under the gun what the what what he does, so he opens with three bet. Not very, inf not many info. Only 100 hands. Looks like a regular on the tight side. If he four bet, I'm just going to call. Not for, not not show sure preflop here. With no history, no flow, and the only feeling he might be tight. So we just call. Flop is okay. <coughs> Definitely a call on the flop. And I would say with no history and so on, and the queen spade blocker, if he shoves, it's just a fold here. It's not a spot in which people like to bluff that much, and we block the main bluffs, which could be king queen and ace queen suited. So I'm just going to fold if he bets big again. On a small bet, I don't mind calling here again, and then choosing on the river, depending on what he does. 
probably still a fault if he shoves. It's not a spot where people bluff enough again. Yeah, I'm just going to fold. Uh, we already have bad blockers. We, we, we block his main obvious bluffs, and we don't know. I mean, again, it's not a spot where the people, well, the average player bluffs enough. So I'm just going to fold here. If it was a bad player, if it was a recreational, I don't think I would have folded anyway, because he may overplay something like a jack or things like this or just to uh, a silly bluff but since it looks like a regular on the tight side especially I think that was that was okay we can probably check it with bio in our in our let's say format Big blind so far looks like a knit, so I am going to open if everybody folds. <coughs> Six seven suited. We open from the bottom. And we call Jack seven suited. This flop hits. Uh, if I had two clubs, maybe I would defend. If he bets now, I just I'm just going to fold. Once he checks, I feel like we can bet a decent amount of times. He calls King of Hearts. I mean, here I have the feeling people do not balance enough the flush throw played this way. No, not many info, so if I knew he's a regular, I would play more carefully this spot, but uh, not knowing that, I think it's one of those spots in which we may assume it's just fine to to attack his range. <coughs> Aces. Uh, Sucks. I think I'm not sure, so I'm not sure, but I think he was one of my coachy. Not sure. Let's leave it. Aces anyway, deep stacked versus the unknown cutoff. Probably a fish, but I'm not sure. Really not sure about that. Okay, definitely a nice flop. I am going to bet one third, as I would do most of the times. Anyway, expect him is going. Oh well, that's weird. Uh, I I, I don't like to raise here because I mean, what what is he going to call me with? Anyway, if he has pocket seven, so pocket deuces, we are going to get it in anyway, I guess. So let's just play it passively. I am going to call here and check shop the river eventually. Let's hope he doesn't have pocket deuces. That would suck. <laughs> Ah, he checked. But I don't think I can I don't think I can get value by playing more aggressively in my hand. He had King Jack off, he was just spewing unlucky. He did not on the river. Let's rebut him. Let's rebut this guy again. We are deep stacked. He may be a bad player. Okay. Let's try it again. <laughs> okay, this time he doesn't raise. Well, better for us. I will play. It. I mean, I will start next big blind. I play half an hour, guys. So I think that's going to be enough. Uh, I have the feeling. Let, let give me also feedback about that if you want longer sessions or shorter sessions because you know I have the feeling longer than this it may be a bit boring. Uh, shorter, a bit too few. I could also play more tables eventually, the problem is that I think if I play more tables I probably mess up a bit the explanation of the hands 
So I think one table is in, is the best choice for this kind of format. But uh, let me know. Let me know. let me have some feedback. I will appreciate it. A set off. We are going to open if error defaults, but they do not. Okay, okay, nice session again. Uh, I promise you, I'm not picking them up. Just it happens. <laughs> if 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 I will have a losing session, I choose to record, and that session is anyway interesting. I will post it. No, no worries about that. It just happens that the first two sessions I played for for YouTube after my big break, my long break from YouTube. Uh, it happens that two sessions were were actually profitable. Probably I should, I should record more session then because I, I'm running pretty hot when I record apparently. But anyway, yeah, there were some interesting spots. Uh, I will probably we will probably see on Piosolver the Queen's spot versus what I think are the uh, Rangers because uh, I think it was probably okay played this way. But we will see. We will see. I'm really not sure. Again, four bet pots UTJ versus middle position is not the kind of spot you study usually with Piosolver because it's so rare. So it's one of the spots in which it's more likely I'm going to mess up something <laughs> because I didn't study it that deeply. But uh, we will see, we will see. So anyway, uh, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this session and see you next time. Bye bye.